really is a smashing guy. And 700 is, is I mean, that's a remarkable figure. It's a great spirit and, and a great attitude to the, to the game. Yeah, I was just thinking the other day how many more wins I'd have if I hadn't such bad partners over the years, you know? <laughs> no. Last week somebody, they mentioned it on an ATP clip that I was maybe one match away, so then I started thinking about it a little bit and, uh, you know, I was pretty aware of the match that we played last week in Barcelona with Leighton that uh, it, it might be number 700, so uh, it was kind of fun because Leighton wasn't aware of it and then, you know, afterwards it was, it was pretty nice to share with him. Everyone's special, obviously, especially at this stage of the game, you know, later, latter part of my career. Um, you don't know how many you're going to get, and uh, especially since I've been injured this year. So, you know, I'm appreciative of, of each win that I get now. Without him, the people like him around, the, the, the tour wouldn't, wouldn't be the success it is, because you, for all the great superstars of the game in singles, you need the solid as a rock pros as well, and that's, that's Mark Knowles. Mark and myself generally started around the same time as professionals and uh, he's one of the great ambassadors of the game. He puts himself uh, out on the field every day to play his heart out and uh, a big congratulations to you Mark uh, on 700. That's fantastic mate. I think if you'd like to pick a doubles partner who you know would be there for you through thick and thin, Knowles is one of those. He's had a great career and you know, it's, it's, uh, it just shows, you know, how successful he's been to be able to win with different partners. Yeah, I changed partners. I was supposed to play with Marty Fish this year, and, uh, you know, we're looking forward to a great year. And, uh, you know, I'm hoping that Marty and I can stay healthy the rest of the year and, and post some good results. I was fortunate enough to play there last year with Mahesh, and, uh, you know, it was one of the best tournaments I've ever been a part of, so I would love to get back there this year, and uh, I'm hoping Marty and I can somehow get there. There's a lot of good teams out there, and, uh, you know, I think it can maybe tighten up the race as we go towards the O2 Arena in, in the fall. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, we meet one of Serbia's rising stars, Viktor Troitsky. Can the local hero triumph in Belgrade? And we'll also bring you a special report from Munich as we go behind the scenes at the BMW Open in Germany. Until then, don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news. See you next week.